stand a chance. Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play of Baldur's Gate. This is episode 32 and we are in the Cloakwood, I believe. Yes, we are. And our next task here is to go see what this cabin is all about and then cross over this bridge into this next area here. So let's get started on that. Okie doke. We are fully healed up here. We're looking pretty good. We cleared out the this level here pretty easily of monsters. I don't think we have much to worry about. I don't know. Let's go see what these guys are all about here, though. We have got Palin here and Balku. Balquo? Balquo. Let's check out this guy. Hello. I really think that Duke Elton should bring in part of the Flaming Fist and put down these wild men of the woods. All right. What about Balquo? Hello. They call themselves druids, but they're no better than wild animals. I wonder who they are talking about. Let's go in here. Let's walk in. Is there anybody Not in here? Not a problem. There's nothing in here, huh? We won't steal off these guys here. Oh, you bet. Well, who's this? Aldef Sashinstar. You there! Identify yourself. Oh, I apologize for my rudeness. I mistook you for someone else. Let me introduce myself. I am Aldeth Sashinstar. You must understand, at the moment, I am under a terrible amount of stress. You see, my dear ma'am, there's a group of uncouth savages that have declared their intentions of killing my friends and me. I've been holed up in this cabin for several days and have lacked the wherewithal to try uh, to make an escape. Perhaps you kind folks would help a fellow in trouble. Yes, we would. Good, I am glad you had the sense of decency to help a man in my situation. Let me explain my predicament. My friends and I have come here every year to do some sport hunting. This year, however, a group of woodland savages threatened us with bodily harm if we did not stop our hunting trip. Being civilized men, we realize that it is well within our right to hunt where we damn well please. After a few days of hunting, the crass woodmen lost all precedence of humanity and murdered Elden, one of my oldest friends. I'm sure that they plan to attack our cottage here, so we had best be prepared. Well, these guys are kind of poaching, it sounds like, although they did murder somebody. So that is, you know, they're both wrong, but I think murdering someone may be a little bit rougher. Send the dialogue. And it looks like we're in for a fight here. I have no quarrel with those who respect my forest. Trespassers and butchers of the wood, I, Senyad, have come to administer the punishment that you have brought down upon yourselves. Yet, who are the ones that stand beside you? We have no quarrel with them. It is now to you that I speak. These men have most likely duped you into protecting their sorry hides. They have most likely not told you of the druids they have slain in cold blood. I will allow you to rethink your earlier decisions and leave these men to their most deserved fate. Well, this sounds a little bit interesting on their side. Do not listen to these slavering wild men, my dear friends. They lie as befits the uncultured barbarians they are. Sinyad, it is good to see you once more. Okay, so we have a party member that knows one of them now. Jahira knows Sinyad here. Jahira, you are welcome amongst us. The trees have missed your gentle care. Will you aid us against these barbaric interlopers? Uh-oh. I could do no less, Sin Mantis. I don't know what to do here again. Don't you think you're being a little harsh, Sin Yad? We can't just let you murder Aldeth. Come now, why don't we come to a peaceful solution? You have made your choice, fools. Now you will suffer together with your hunter friends. 
No, said Mantis. You cannot ask me to do this. I will not. There must be a way to solve this without bloodshed. They should be stamped out before they cause further harm to the forest. But I wish not to burden my friend. So be it. These trespassers may leave, but I warn you now. These are my protected lands. If you further disrupt the balance, the repercussions will be severe. Consider yourself warned. Fair enough. You will not consider staying, Jahira? He's trying to take our party member here. I'm afraid not. Thank you. That's good. Safe travels then, my friend. One day, perhaps, we will meet again. Be well, Sinyad. Be well. And we've got 1,000 experience points. Manners, brute. I give you my gratitude for the aid you have given us. If you ever travel to Baldur's Gate, come to the Merchant's League estate and I will aid you in any way I can. Take now this small token of my appreciation. Why, well, thank you very much. We will remember this. And we got 2,000 experience points and I have leveled up here. Let's take a look at Sin Mantis. We're going to level up. Still no proficiency slots. Not bad at all. Very nice. Done. We are level 5 here. Very nice. All right. Not a problem. We're going to save it right here. And now let's go to the bridge, I guess. Here's the bridge. Let's go across here. Who's this fellow here? We have Koran. Oh, travelers. Hold a moment. Look at this guy. He's looking a little funky for sure. It is refreshing to find other people in the wood. I am Koran, thief and archer. I've been alone in the wilderness for far too long. I wouldn't mind returning to the big city, but I have yet to collect my bounty. I'd share the ward with the lot of you if you would help hasten the hunt. You interested in hearing more? Yes, tell us more. Good. I am glad you're smart enough to recognize an opportunity when it comes knocking. The deal is this. I've been hired out by the mayor of Baragos to hunt down a great winged dragon that's been plaguing the caravan routes. He's offered 2,000 gold for its head. Now before you get cold feet, let me allay your fears. The only description of the beasts have always mentioned its deadly barred tail. From what I know about dragons, they don't have bards on their tails. That's something unique to Waverns. So all we have to do is find this waver nest and kill it. Our only worries are if it has friends over for dinner. So what's your decision? Yay or nay? I don't know. Maybe fighting a waver. I'm feeling pretty powerful right now. So let's go with this. Unless he wants us to join our party. I don't know. Very well then. We shouldn't tarry any longer. Let's collect the heads of those soon to be sorry waverns. Oh, we have to remove a party member. That was a waste. Oh, you bet. That's too bad. Maybe we can stumble upon these waverns ourselves. Let's let's explore this side of the river here. Is there anything of interest over here? Doesn't look like there is. All right, let's go over here. Now, the cloak wood. Let's go into the cloak wood here. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. We have Edder Cap here. Let's attack here. And you are going to do with the sword here, and you're going after this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Let's move. Didn't see that coming. 
did. Let's heal awaits. this guy up. Was just for practice. Let's heal him again. That was a f tough fight, actually. Fine and dandy. All right, let's continue on. Oh, we should rest here. Let's get into the cloakwood. What? Can we cross oh, here? Bet. We can. Very cool, though. I like that. Let's take a look at the map here. We are right there. Is this like a... What's going on here? We have a huge spider here. Let's go right here. We have a bunch of huge spiders. We have Tibber here as well. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. To these guys give us victory uh oh we are web that was just for practice these guys aren't very strong though we might be able to survive this here uh oh for Ryan, give us victory now let's heal up here wrong one yes oh omnipresent authority figure Yep. Alright, let's talk to let's save it here. And we have a guy here, Tibber. Excuse me, please let me speak before you attack. Tiber, maybe? Uh hello travelers, I'm Tiber. Could could I take up some of your time? I would be very grateful if you would just listen to if you would just help me. What is it that troubles you, stranger? Thank you. Thank you. It's my brother, you see. He and I went to the cloakwood to clear the woods of the spider colony that infests it. I know it sounds foolish, but my brother had found a sword, Spider's Bane. The sword was created to kill spiders, and we thought it would we would become famous. The heroes of cloakwood and all that. But my brother hasn't returned yet, and it's been more than a week. Could you please go into the wood and find him for me? My mother would be so shattered if Chelak were to be dead. I'll find your brother for you. Don't worry. Oh, yes. Please, search quickly. His name's Shellac. Be careful. All right. We have another mission here. Let's take a look at these. They're growing. We encountered a man named Tiber in the Cloakwood and told him that we'd try and find his brother, Shellac. According to Tiber, his brother entered the Cloakwood in an attempt to destroy a spider infestation. And we have Corn and the Waver in here. We have decided to join up with an elf named Corn in hunting down a Waver. There has been a substantial reward offered for the head of the beast. 
We can collect the reward just east of Baragos at the Temple of Lathander. It is where the mayor of Baragos is to be found. He is also the head of the temple. All right, so we have a few quests here. And we also have the quest in Chapter 1, Girk's Cloak. Like Let's have a sleep here. Let's see how it goes. Alright, we're all rested up. We should heal our friend here. Let's put a bless here. Healing. Oh, shoot. By temper shield. Bless. Perfect. All right, we're blessed anyways. Yep. That can't hurt. Let's keep exploring around here. Very cool waterfall. We're going to save it again here. And we have an enemy sighted. We have an edder cap again. Oh, my really not in this. go we nothing there I'm just gonna move all of these over here and see what we got since I forgot to do that before let's just give her everything we got here is there anything this one here the rest of these can go in What about here? Nothing there. There we go. And this one can go in here. Perfect. Okay, we've learned a few spells out of that. That's great. Let's keep looking around here. This is a real crazy spot. What do we have here? A scimitar and a ring. Let's see. What is this scimitar all about? Let's take a look at this. Named for Prince Rashad, former ruler of the minor principality to the east. This blade and many of the prince's possessions were taken by the disgruntled palace guards after his death. The role of the guards in the unfortunate affair was never determined, but rumor has it that all died within a year, slain by this very weapon. So it's plus, that's looking pretty good. We have nobody who is skilled at the scimitar, though. Okey-doke. Let's get out of here. Let's go over here. I'm going to save this again. We have an unidentified ring there as well. Once we rest, we'll take a look at that. What do we have here? We have another Edder Cap. Need me? Okey doke. Gonna save it again. Let's take a look at this map here. Very interesting. And we have another 
giant spider. We're going to hang back here, though. Oof. Save it again. Fine and dandy. Very cool map. We have another phase spider. Oh, let's go over here. For right. Oh, wow. Look at that. And somebody has leveled up. We have Minsk gear has leveled up. Let's take a look. Still no proficiency slots. Additional hate hit points. We're looking pretty good here. He is now level five as well. Huh? Oh, Very nice. And we have another phase spider. He's probably going to come after us with his phasing. Yep. No! We're going to switch back to uh, his bow here. We have another phase spider. No, my heart's really not in this. That was just for practice. That's a What's lot of experience for these things. Gotcha. We'll save it again. Oh, jeez. We just stepped in a huge trap here. And we're all caught up in the web. That scared me, actually. That startled me quite a bit. Fine and dandy. Oh, you bet. Fine and dandy. Come on, everybody. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. There we go. If Tempus wins it. All right, let's heal up. This guy. And we're going to nap here right here. And we're going to call that an episode for today. We're going to explore the rest of Cloakwood in the next episode. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.